Welcome back. This is episode three, I believe. And this is a continuation on the uh, theoretical circle of fifths. And now we will be talking about the circle of fourths. And the reason that this is all important is to be able to play music in every key. Okay. Now, as we discussed before, the circle of fifths starts with C at zero. And then we continue on one, two, three, four, five, six. And each time we add a sharp in the seventh degree. Uh, if that's moving a little too fast, be sure to check out the previous video. Uh, in regards to the circle of fifths now with the same idea we're going to be going counterclockwise okay and we will be adding um, a flat every time and I'll get to I'll explain that in a second so we're going to start off with C being zero one two three four five and six okay now the way the circle of fourths works it's a little bit easier to remember the new flat is always in the fourth. So let's start with C, which has no flats. Okay. Now we're going to go up a fourth. One, two, three, four to F. Okay. Now we're going to add a flat in the fourth. Okay. So it's going to be one, two, three, flat four. Okay. Now, B flat would be the next one. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now we have B flat, which has uh, two flats in it, and the new flat is going to be in the fourth. F had one. B flat's going to have two. One, two, three, flat four. So you have B flat and E flat, which the next one's going to be E flat, right? So we have one, two, three. Four, and then the B flat from B4 so now we have three flats okay now we're gonna go up one two three four oops to A flat okay now A flat's going to have four flats one two three four okay so that's your new flat which is D flat so we have A flat B flat C D flat, E flat from before, okay, so the next one, uh, D flat, otherwise known as C sharp, uh, same thing, we have five flats now, the new flat's going to be in the fourth, so it's going to be one, two, three, there's a new flat which is G flat, e excuse me, yes, G flat. Okay, and then lastly, the fourth up from that is G flat or F sharp, depending on if you're on the uh, sharp side or the flat side. Uh, we're going to uh, continue talking about flat flats because we're doing a circle of fourths so we're going to have one two three and then we're going to have this right here which we covered before is an n, n harmonic okay because we have g flat a flat b flat and this is actually c flat and once again just to kind of cover what we talked about in the uh, previous video is that you can't have a b flat and a b in the scale at the same time because then there's no c so to call them out, it would be, <clears throat> excuse me, G flat, A flat, B flat, C flat, D flat, E flat, F, and G flat. I hope uh, I didn't move too fast for some of you guys, but uh, be sure to practice all of your scales and be sure to be able to call it out when somebody says, hey, uh, the key signature is three sharps, then you know that you're in the key of A. If it's a key signature of two flats, you're in B flat. Uh, and just be able to call them out like that. Um, if any of you need this picture of Circle of Fifths, uh, let me know. I can uh, surely email you. Just drop me an email at uh, dehanokeyboard at gmail.com. And uh, thank you very much.